was able to start taking riding lessons when I was five. So on the morning of my fifth birthday, I went running into their bedroom. Um, and that was what basically what we did the whole day was drive around to a bunch of different barns and I was able to find a place that I started taking lessons at. I had a very bad first pony when I uh, began. I half leased him from a girl and at the time obviously you know we were just getting into the sport so we didn't really know. Um, we were sort of steered toward this convenient avenue of the pony that was in the barn but I think I spent more time in the dirt than I did in the saddle. Um, which obviously to some extent it's nice and I guess you learn a lot from that kind of thing but my mom would argue that she lost a lot of very nice handbags um, in the you know, post-fall drives to the hospital where I would be super nauseous and complaining and it was either like you know, pulling over maybe if we could make it or um, sacrificing her Kate Spade handbags. Yeah, the first, the first pony definitely nearly killed my riding career but the second one saved it, so that's the good news. Looking back, I had a lot of opportunities. Um, I grew up with riding with Meadow Grove, um, Dick Carvin, and Susie Schroer. So obviously, I was very fortunate in that I was in a really great environment. Um, but I only ever really had one horse that I was competing. So it opened the door to a lot of catch riding. Um, I got to ride a lot of sales horses for people. And I think that having those opportunities makes you, you know, be able to sort of get on a lot of different types of horses and figure out how to get along with them. So I wouldn't say I by any means had to, like, you know, really do a lot, but I think that because they sort of opened that door for me and um, it created a lot of opportunities down the line, which has helped me a lot in my own career at this point. I worked for uh, Nick Skelton and Laura Kraut for a little bit through Poden Farms, the Moffat family. Um, I was with Dara Kenny for a while. Obviously, I started out with Kent Farrington for a number of years right after. Um, actually, I started with him. I was still a junior and I was a working student. So being in those sort of top barns and working with those top level professionals and um, having those experiences, it's really helped me create the program that I have now. The first one here is E. Carlos. We call him Carlito in the barn. Um, he came to me uh, at the start of the summer. We started competing together, but he's definitely found his way into my heart. He's just a really, a really special little horse and has lots of character and personality. I started competing Calvin last year. Um, he won a Grand Prix already at our second show together in Temecula. And he uh, was clear in a couple of, a lot of the three-star classes actually this year in Thermal. A very, very sweet, cuddly little, little pony, but we love him. It's nice because I guess I'm in a position now where we are sort of building a string up that we can keep a little bit. Just being able to get back in this ring and have the league going again this year is great. So I'm happy to just sort of be competing in these classes again. So I have not been to this facility since 2017. That was the last time I competed here. Um, and it's amazing coming back and seeing all the developments that they've done. Um, you know, I think the footing is great. The atmosphere is great. It's nice being able to have a little bit of people back um, inside watching to create that atmosphere again. It's nice being at well-run shows.